19 to 6, I'm Rick Goddard, ABC Radio Hobart. Darren Petty is filmmaker. Oh, he's wearing a t-shirt that says he's a podcaster as well. G'day, Darren. Hi, Rick. How are you, mate? Good. What are you working on at the moment? Zombies. So many things. I'm working on a uh, feature film, a zombie feature film, which is raising awareness for the Tasmanian Devil facial tumour. That starts shooting in December. We'll start shooting in the first week of school holidays, and I have... Uh, just over 400 emails of people that want to be in the movie because I've opened it up to the public because I want to provide a platform that uh, so people can be involved that otherwise wouldn't have the opportunity. What's the story? The script? Yeah, in short. Like, wow. It's about a <laughs> it's about a scientist that uh, they develop a a serum that gets into the wrong hands and goes into the public and infects people and they have to uh, uninfect everybody. And a lot of people die. And uh, uh, our good friend, uh, John X, he's part of it. And he dies. He has his head removed. I can't wait for that. That'll be really satisfying. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. For a whole lot of people. Uh, are you aiming for, like, kind of, you know, super big grade, schlocky, good times fun? No, it'll be it'll be a gritty, uh, it'll be a semi-gritty drama. And it's a, in actuality, it's a, it's a love story. It's about a man that decides not to take uh, money for um, basically the, the serum that's developed is uh, they want it for a chemical weapon mm. and he decides not to do that and his uh, partner goes along with it and he loses out and in turn loses his family and then in the end um, he has to make a choice and it's and John X no that oh one, that's not John X no John X is uh, John X is the uh, the anti-hero Ah, uh, okay. One right. of right. and Matt Neal too. He's in there. Yeah. Uh, Matt Neal will be. Uh, he'll be a, um, a vigilante leader. We don't make a whole heap of genre here in Tessie, though. There's that and that bunch of Aboriginal uh, horror films that are on at the state this Friday, mm. um, which sound really really cool. But I think it's people watch it, share it, get into those films more than if you're just trying to make, you know, cinema. Yeah. Look, a lot of people have approached me actually and and asked me if I'm going to make parody type. A parody type film mm. and, and look, there's so much of that out there now I think the market's flooded with it but I think something um, especially for the Tasmanian Devil has to have some kind of uh, realism and drama to it uh, I don't think it's a funny situation so I, I do want to bring some, some drama and grit to that Quarter to six Darren Petty's a filmmaker jiu-jitsu teacher amongst other things and uh, is launching into his is that your first feature film? It'll be my first feature film I'm, But you've uh, done a bunch of docos lately I've What have you been a... doing in doco land? Uh, it, uh, well, as you know, as everybody knows, I uh, produced, um, uh, film produced, edited Luke Jackson's documentary film, and we're going to re, uh, we'll remaster that soon, um, giving that he's coming, you know, closer to his retirement, and we'll, we'll jump back into that when he's coming closer to that. Um, so shout out to Luke. Um, also, I'm doing a documentary film. At the moment, I've just been up in Newcastle with um, Australia's best bodybuilder, Lee Priest, because I'm doing a documentary on a bodybuilder who just received his professional card from Arnold Schwarzenegger when I was over with Arnold. Um, and I was up close and personal with Arnold, obviously, and um, we're making a documentary on that young fellow, um, Jake Nicolopoulos in Melbourne, uh, who, yeah, received his pro card from Arnold. What were you doing with Arnold Schwarzenegger? What was I doing with Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yeah. Goodness gracious, trying not to peed my pants it was uh, look, is he still governor of california no okay no 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 he uh he just he just finished um his latest terminator movie and they're doing a world tour on that but uh yeah so each time he comes to, Mel to melbourne uh i fly over and i do behind the scenes up close and personal uh, videography with arnold i was chosen to do that how'd you get that gig showed up <laughs> well my work my works my work's around my work gets around everywhere. So Darren Pretty Films uh, is obviously something that I've grown into to quite a big personal brand. Um, you know, Rick, I'm not the best filmmaker there is. I've just I've just got the I've just um, worked out how to how to create the personal branding around that, and that goes with everything I do. You know, anything that I do, I, I try to um, to use the tools that are available to to build the personal brand within that. And it's the same as the podcast, you know. That I've just started. It, it's all about personal branding. It's about using the social platforms to push the pu push the um, the projects. And, and look, love it or hate it, uh, social media is uh, where we have to sort of put our time. What's your podcast series? My podcast series is about people that have experienced adversity and and now uh, now success. 
So people have been through hard times and 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 gotten through those those things and obviously now uh, e e experiencing success. But you know, everyone's got a story, Rick. As you know, you know you've been on radio many years and you've spoken to many many people, and um, every single person has a story, including myself. And the first episode, which is on my YouTube channel, is um, just myself and Josh Lavelle, uh, just just sort of chatting about my life. And uh, the next episode will be Matt Newell. Um, got Sarah Darkin on there who featured on, um, who was Yoda in Attack of the Clones, and a bunch of other people. Um, How do you up. reach out to talk to people for your uh, podcast? And is it, just, is it just an hour chat? It's, it's the, uh, the chat is as long as it takes, and they reach out to me. Um, mm -hmm. In actuality, I'm launching the website, .com, uh this week, and you'll be able to go on there, and what I want people to do is... Um, put their details in and tell me about their story in brief and uh, why is it compelling and how can it help people and I'll, I'll have um, Josh Lavelle go through those and um, vet those to be on the show. Uh, obviously, you know, I can't put everyone on but uh, a good story is a good story and like I said, mm. everybody has a story, Rick. And how do you get it listened to because it's a pretty crowded marketplace. We live in Tasmania, Rick. We, uh, we, um, it's a very small place in actuality and um, you know, to be honest, a lot of people say to me, you know, Darren should move to Melbourne or Sydney, but you know, there's there's tons of me over there, but down here, there's, there's not many. Um, so, the podcast is listened to by by many Tasmanians, and and we don't have, you know, we've got yourself, and and we've got a lot of talking heads that have a lot of unbelievable things to say, and down here, um, we're it, you know, we are the people that are that are speaking. But in Melbourne, and Sydney, and around around Australia, there's tons and tons around the world, obviously. I've got a lot of connections on the mainland and around the world uh, where my podcast does go. Mm. But uh, my focus is, at the moment, Tasmania, even though I've got a lot of people wanting to fly down from Melbourne to be involved. Talking to people about going from adversity to success, do you see any patterns? Any? Patterns or commonalities? Look. In that resilience? It's either one way or the other. Mm. I just um, did a short documentary-style film on Homeless this week, and, and I looked at people there uh, that I recognised from when I was... When I was homeless um, in my teens, and they're still, you know, they're still experiencing homelessness, and or I have friends also that went through the same thing and now are uh, very, very successful, and and that's that's uh, someone like myself. I went through a very extreme um, and bad upbringing, and then turned it into something positive. And the the, uh, the pattern is for me, it's a crossroad. You either go down that path, continue down the path of of um, you know, the reckless life or, or make something positive of yourself. And I was just at a school recently and I asked the kids what they wanted to be and it was, these kids were uh, underprivileged and, and they were saying, look, one of them said a uh, vet, another said a gamer, another said tattoo artist, another said uh, some other things. And I said, guys, you're 13, 14, start now. Start drawing. You can't obviously pick up a tattoo gun when you're 14, but start drawing now. I hope not. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think you they do. do. <laughs> they probably do. But, you know, pick up these tools now and start now. That's, mm. my, that's my message to the young kids. And... Um, you know, be around animals at this age. By the time you get to the courses, the TAFE, the schools and all these things, you already know your way around and you're one step ahead. That's my, that's my message there. I think that's a message to adults as well with our dreams. Like, you can do it now. Do it now. If you want to talk on radio, start talking in the shower. You know, if you want to talk... <laughs> if, you want to, if you want to sing, start singing. If you want to play guitar, start playing guitar. You can learn anything, anytime, anywhere, especially in this day and age with all the, all the, all the education that's available at our fingertips. Great to talk to you, Darren. Lovely, thanks, Rick. Darren Petty, filmmaker, jiu-jitsu teacher, man about town. It's 10 to 6. Coastal Forecast is next. I'm Rick Goddard. Thanks, man. No worries, brother. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks, Josh. Thanks, Josh. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you. Don't include that. <laughs> All right. You have time for fighter, Rick? Or nah? Sorry? Do you have time for fighter? Um, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay yeah, just come around here. I don't while I'm talking. That's right. It'll just be a still shot. It's 10 to 6. Debbie Table's at the Bureau this morning. G'day, Debbie. I'm good but cold. Thanks, fellas. Have a glorious day. Thank you very much. Gorgeous sunrise. And keep me in the loop when other stuff's happening interested to you. Always good fun to visit Rick uh, and have a conversation with him. And this time it's just about general life and what I'm up to. It's um it's a
a, it's a funny old life. And uh, he asked me at the start what I'm up to, and I've got no idea. Uh, just make it up as we go along, which is what all of you should do. Make it up as you go along, and feel the fear, and do it anyway. Good night. I mean, it is, it is, <laughs> it is still dark outside, so I understand that I you be, thought that it was. Dark. I didn't bother going to sleep. Cause I, had to, I, I didn't bother going to sleep because I had to be up at four or something. So here I am. Like you look a little dark, it's yeah. just um, I guess the main thing is being able to see the damn Go uh, can you see the damn, Mac and everything Yeah, and can you see the damn pretty podcast, so go landscape Yeah Yep <laughs> Done All of you guys trying to start a personal brand I've got a few now <laughs> It's all about the photo opportunity Gotta make most of that. More is better. Overkill. You know what I might do? Start doing keynote speaking for how to create a personal brand. Oh, that's a good idea. Got a better you idea. do come up with good ideas at 5.55 in the morning. Oh yeah, any time of day, mate. Do you think I should? I think it's a good idea. Or... It'd be, like it'd speaking be to people that want to start an online presence. Well, it's needed because there's a lot of people that... Because I've got Darren them. Pretty Films now, Darren Pretty Podcast now, Darren Pretty Films is coming back, I've got DPF Media. Uh, what else do I have? Trojan Jiu Jitsu, obviously. And just Darren Petty. And Darren Petty, just me. Personal brand. Is personal so. brand. Because if you want to tell a story, you've got to, you've got to create a platform. Am I speaking to the camera or you? You can speak to both. Oh. The camera is an extension of me, Josh Lavelle. The best intern. And the other, the other, the other personal brand I'm creating at the moment is Josh Lavelle. Stay tuned on that. And the new addition, Mac Dog. Adam Mac Dog Mackay. Oh, Either. Yeah. Let's go and have breakfast. Breakfast? I'd like breakfast. Yeah. Okay. Breakfast, Mac. Sounds good. Oh, yeah. Hold on.